According to the New York Times, Israel obtained Hamas's battle plan for October 7th more than a year in advance. And I've seen some of the documents myself. I mean, the ones I saw were dated October 2022. The Times points out that the Hamas documents that they saw are shockingly close to reality. Uh, they called for a barrage of rockets at the outset of the attack. Hamas did that. They called for breaking through the wall. Hamas did that. They called for entering via paraglider. Hamas did that. They called for entering via motorcycle. Hamas did that. Mark, do you know why this document was dismissed? Well, it's, it's clear there was an amazing mishap, a uh, uh, failure. There's no excuses for it. And uh, we have to look into this. Uh, we paid for our mistakes on October 7th in blood, in the blood of over 1,200 Israelis who were, who were murdered and another 240 that were, were kidnapped and taken to Gaza. Uh, so we have to take this very seriously. Uh, uh, we can't accept uh, such a failure. We pride ourselves as Israelis for having excellent intelligence services. And in, in this case, maybe the information there, it wasn't understood. It didn't go uh, <clears throat> up the chain like it should have. We have to investigate that. We have to find out exactly what happened. You know, 50 years ago, Aaron, there was a, 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 a similar colossal intelligence failure when uh, we were attacked in 1973 on the Yom Kippur War uh, from the south by Egypt, from the north from, by Syria. And we were then taken by surprise. And we had, after that, we had a commission of inquiry uh, and uh, lessons were learned. And uh, it, it was an important process for Israel. And we will probably do the same thing now, I'm sure. When this war is over, we have to look very carefully at what happened, where was the information, why wasn't it understood, who is responsible? Well, so in, in July, a veteran intelligence, a veteran, I'm sorry, Israeli intelligence analyst said that Hamas had conducted an intense day-long training exercise. And the analyst said this appears similar to what was outlined in the blueprint. Now, the analyst, we understand, works for Unit 8200, which is Israel's Sig Signals Intelligence Agency, went ahead and warned higher-ups. And according to encrypted emails reviewed by the New York Times, two things then happened. One, Mark, is that a colonel in the Gaza division brushed off the concerns. And two, is that veteran analyst commented, and I quote, I utterly refute that the scenario is imaginary. Uh, you can you know, almost hear the frustration in the words uh, that that analyst chose to use. Mark, I'm curious as to what you think as to why there was such disbelief. When Israel at that point had the battle plans and then visual proof of the plans being practiced, why was there still such disbelief? So all these questions need to be looked at seriously and professionally and objectively. And we'll do that. We, it's our obligation. I mean, ultimately, Israel will continue to live in a in a in a challenging neighborhood, some, other, some would even say a dangerous neighborhood, and therefore it's our obligation that our intelligence services have to be good, and if there are failures, we have to understand where the failures happened and why they happened. So was the Prime Minister Netanyahu aware of the Hamas document? I, I'm not aware that he was, uh, I don't know that he was aware, he, 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 but we, he's said like everyone else that when, uh, when the, uh, there are investigations after this for exactly what happened, he'll, of course, be there to answer questions and tell exactly what he was given and what he wasn't given. But at this point, you and he haven't even had a conversation as to whether he was aware of these documents that the New York Times reporting about. Not, the, not this specific document, but we have, uh, we have had conversations on this general level. But once again, these discussions we need to discuss uh, at the right time, and the right time will be after this mm -hmm. war at the moment. I think all of Israel is focused on winning this war. We have to win this war against Hamas so that October 7th can never happen again.